we're back. back. And today is National, National Pepperoni, Pepperoni Pizza, Pizza Day. Day. Wah, wah, wah. Well, not today, technically, when we're filming. But, but when you are you watching this. is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. So we're going to share one of our favorite pepperoni pizza-inspired recipes that with all of you. I <laughs> He's not a pepperoni fan. Sausage guy He's over here. He's a sausage here. guy, right? You like your sausage pizza, but maybe we can convert him with one of our favorite recipes. Let's go. Maybe. All right, well, like we said, today is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. We're gonna make. I want you want sausage pizza. Sausage pizza. <laughs> we gotta convert the sausage pizza guy into the pepperoni pizza guy. Yep. Mark and I both love pepperoni, yep. so we were super excited to participate in this collab. So thanks to Lena over at Hall Family Adventures for putting together another awesome collab. Lena does so many awesome yep. collabs for just like all the different themed days and all the different fun things. She may have access to more themed days than you do. <laughs> I know. She has so many awesome ideas. So we were super excited when she invited us to participate in this collab. So make sure you check out everybody's videos participating, link down below so you can get lots of awesome ideas on how to celebrate National Pepperoni Pizza Day or just hear about people's pizza stories, all the things. So, and honey, oh, what are we doing? What are oh, we doing? Oh, maybe you can have tartar pizza. Or maybe you can have sausage pizza. <laughs> or maybe what you we can are doing. Oh, tartar pizza. And pizza. Who's gonna roll sausage pizza? Like, maybe we'll make sausage pizza rolls. Well, what we are going to make is the old Chicago Sicilian pizza roll recipe. So obviously what? we have to modify because of our allergies. So we'll be doing the allergy modified recipe, but I will share how you could do it regular. It's not really a whole lot of modifications you have to make that strays from the normal recipe. So let's get cooking. All right, so here's the ingredients that you're gonna need to make these Sicilian pizza rolls with the modified ingredients for dairy-free and gluten-free and all the things. But we love this gluten-free pizza dough. It is made by Holy Gluten-Free. Um, our local Sprouts carries it and it's just so fantastic to have a gluten-free pizza dough option. Um, the recipe that you'll find online for these actually calls for the Pillsbury dough. So, you know, if you don't have a gluten allergy, that's a great option to just use the Pillsbury pizza dough. Um, but we use this wholly gluten-free pizza dough. And then pepperoni, this is our pepperoni of choice. Um, again, because of all of our allergies, this is just the one that we love because it has very, very few ingredients in it. It just has pork, sea salt, spices, paprika, sugar, and then a little bit of those natural flavors, some sunflower and a starter culture. Um, so because I have a black pepper allergy and a celery allergy, processed meats are actually super, super hard for me with celery allergy because a lot of times they're cured with celery salt. Um, but this one is free of all the allergens for us. It's actually from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna use some of their gourmet uncured pepperoni. And then the recipe also calls for green onions. I prefer chives just cause they're a little bit smaller and they have a little bit more concentrated flavor. So we're gonna use chives in ours. And then you would put in some mozzarella and pepper jack cheese. We're gonna use mozzarella, the goat milk mozzarella for Mark. And then I am actually gonna use monster cheese. So monster cheese is kind of a, one of my favorite cheeses, but also it's a secret ingredient in Little Caesars pizza. That's what makes their cheese so good is they use monster cheese. So I'm gonna try making these with a little bit of monster and see how that comes out. I am gonna shave some Parmesan on top just to make it extra yummy. And then what you really do to make them the Sicilian pe pepperoni rolls is you lay down a layer of ranch dressing for the sauce on them. So rather than using like a red sauce, you put ranch in them and then you can dip them in red sauce. So we have found this Daya dairy free ranch, which is really, really awesome. Um, Daya makes some pretty good stuff and this dressing actually is pretty darn close to ranch. So if you do have a dairy allergy, um, would highly recommend this one. If you don't just go get your regular ranch dressing of choice and you can use that. So. These are the ingredients we're gonna to use to make our pepperoni rolls. I'm gonna get this dough rolled out and lay down some ranch and we'll get them all put together.
has cut them down. Okay, so we've cut them down, we've rolled them up. It's very messy, like we said, working with gluten-free doughs. Really <laughs> challenging. We'll see how these cook up. We've done this one other time before and they turned out really good, but very messy. Yeah. Um, so we'll just have to see how it all comes out. Um, oh, you got one guy that fell But I am basting them with some garlic butter, just so that they get that like nice brown edge. This is a hot pizza stone out of the oven, preheated at 400 degrees. And then we put it with a bunch of oil, like sprayed it down and put some more flour on the base. Let's see how these come. I made a little mini one for Wally. And then I have one other special ingredient that I have to add. I'm not really sure knows what it is because it wouldn't be true old Chicago style pizza. Without my secret. I am going to also shave some Parmesan on top of these. You can tell it's a pre-warmed pizza uh, stone because the rolls are collapsing on the side. I know, yeah, they're like very hot. melting. So presentation of these probably is not gonna be yeah. the best, but flavor's what matters, huh? Okay, so I've got some fresh Parmesan grated on top. Oh, I know what the secret ingredient is. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh. Gotta to top it with some olives. All right, olives are on, and I only put them on mine. Thank so goodness. Keep Mark those doesn't olives over have there. To deal with the olives. Into the 400 degree oven we go. melted cheese going on. <laughs> That's okay. I think Wally's like completely just like disintegrated. <laughs> That's okay. But they look pretty good. They look really good, hon. I'm happy with how those turned out. Let's eat. So let's see how they taste. So the beverage of choice tonight is the Darty Light Lager from Holly Daily. Daily. Yes, and while it has apple juice, <laughs> well, it's letting you know. Juice. But it tastes just like a Bud Light, and it's taking me back to my college days before <sighs> I knew I was gluten intolerant, and I could kick back a Bud Light at Old Chicago on a Friday night. Easy. This is magic. Yeah, so it's basically a little tiny bit of hops, lots of malt, and then rice syrup. So that's what makes a Bud Light a Bud so Light. Good. And that's what this is, guys. I don't know what they're doing down there at Holla Daily, but making Bud Light, we'll take it. We'll Glute, take it. Gluten-free Bud Light, baby. Yeah, cheers. 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 <laughs> All right, well, we have the perfect beer and the perfect pepperoni roll. Look how delicious that is. I'm going to dip it in some marinara. Take the first bite. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Very good. It really, it tastes just like the old Chicago pizza rolls. Wow. Okay. I'm that going in on mine. Again, I contaminate it with olives. Mm. Oh, really good. A little marinara. Mm. I'm making my heart happy. Mmm. 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 That's amazing, that's huh? pizza. Very good. Mm hmm Pretty yummy, buddy. We did do it. You approve? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, I've already mounted an entire pepperoni roll down. Wally approves, so I think this is a win. If you like pepperoni pizza, you'll probably love pepperoni rolls. Super delicious, yeah. easy to make. One of our favorite recipes. It's a win all the way around. Yeah. So. Cheers to National Pepperoni Pizza Day. We cheers. hope you guys are doing something fun to celebrate. And cheers to Lena with Hall Family yeah. Adventures for putting this all together. And Super fun. Check out everybody's videos, Lena. link down below. <laughs> cheers to Lena. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> all right, thank you all for watching. Make sure if you're new here, 
Well, follow along on our adventures, hit that uh, subscribe button and bell icon down below. And while you're checking out everyone's links, hit that like button, you know it helps us out. This is the wonderful world of Walter. <laughs> we love you guys, just the way you are. Bye! Bye! Bye.